here's meteorologist Pete Mangione with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Good morning and a warm Easter Sunday on the way. Let's check out some warm stats for this Easter Sunday. Now, I'm showing you two records and the reason is because Easter can fall on many different calendar dates. So we have one record here for Easter Sunday, which could be on really any date in March or April. Easter can go all over the place, as you know. And then we also have a record for today's actual date, April 16th. And you can see the record for Easter 87. That's the warmest Easter ever on record. And for the warmest April 16th on record, that's 88. Are we going to get to these records today? Probably not. I think the Easter Bunny happy about that. He's running a little warm right now, so we'll probably shave a few degrees off from those records today. At the coast, I don't think we'll get anywhere close to those records as we'll have some thick fog and some low clouds hanging tough in spots this morning. And then a breeze from the southwest will help cool off the coast this afternoon, but still not a bad day. In Narragansett, some sun poking through some of the clouds and the fog will take it. And our temperatures right now cooperating for those of you maybe heading out to some Easter Sunday morning services with 59 for you in Smithfield, 60 in Providence, 51 still with some of that thick fog there in Newport, 53 westerly, 48 still on Block Island with some fog. Breezes out of the west right now between 5 and 15 miles an hour. These breezes will be picking up today, so it will be a factor in your forecast, especially for some of those Easter egg hunts. 48 your temperature from our weather station in Newport, but look at the difference here, 63 from the weather station in Coventry. Some showers fizzling out to our west right now. We have another disturbance moving in from the west. That will give us a slight chance of a strong thunderstorm or two to our west. Notice this line developing. This is around 6 or 7 p.m. The good news is I think we stay dry well uh, through the daylight hours today. You can see Rhode Island, southeastern Massachusetts not picking up these showers. Now, if these hang together, these showers do, we could pick up a shower or a thunderstorm well after sunset, 9 or 10 p.m. But even that is only a slight chance of occurring. We may make it through the entire evening without one of these showers or storms. If the threat of the strong storms changes and we have a better chance for these to arrive as stronger thunderstorms, we will let you know. But right now, we'll just leave in a chance of a shower or your garden variety thunderstorm and let you know if the risk of a strong storm increases both on the air and with TJ's update later on this evening on Eyewitness News. Tomorrow morning, looking great looking dry, looking comfortable for the Boston Marathon if you're headed to run or watch that race. More on that race coming up in just a minute. I just wanted to give you a more local detail view of what's happening tonight. 9 to 10 p.m. best chance of picking up a shower or a thunderstorm. So again, for the daytime activities for Easter Sunday, we're looking good. And then there are the clear skies on the way for Marathon Monday. Today, looking at temperatures inland well into the 70s by around lunchtime, 76 with mostly sunny skies. 3 p.m., we're 81. Notice those breezes out of the southwest between 10 to 15 miles an hour, some gusts of around 30. Again, I'm leaving you partly sunny this morning, especially at the coast, because some low-level moisture will be sort of stubborn to hang on this morning. But by the afternoon, I do think everybody taps into some sunshine. Here are the differences by location today. We talk about it like we're realtors, like real estate, location, location, location. Definitely a factor in your forecast today. Two to three o'clock, low to mid 80s inland, and then 60s to low 70s along the south coast. And that's typical for this time of year, especially when we have a breeze from the south, southwest, or southeast. Tomorrow looking great in Boston for the runners. And if you're a spectator, not too warm, not too cool. Temperatures mid to upper 60s, a bit breezy, maybe a bit of a tailwind for those runners. Seven day future cast shows temperatures do drop even more on Tuesday down into the low 50s. Wednesday also in the low 50s with those lows into the upper 30s and then some showers possible Thursday and Friday. You can always get an updated future cast over on our website at WPRI.com.